what is up guys I want to make this video to kind of help make sense of things uh, I recorded quite a few different video clips on a quite a few different days for this little build series and I'm starting with this race car uh, for those of you that don't know I bought this probably about two years ago now give or take half a year either way and I threw a predator on it removed the governor did a couple things and it was just a blast what I'm going to do with it now is get it autocross legal. So that's the direction of this build is to get the car autocross legal and to just have fun with it. Um, as you can see, I've already started doing some work to it, but the videos I recorded to kind of start this series off wasn't good and they weren't structured. They didn't have any direction to them. So I want to make kind of this little intro sequence and just drop you right in to when I pull the motor out of the box and has it been ran and I'm pulling the governor out of it. So I just wanted to make this Get you guys on board, let you know what's going on, and drop you right in with the work actually starting to take place. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. Um, there's a video that I've already got recorded that will come out after this one. And I'll let you guys know I'm going to be building this engine. So stick around if you want to see that. All right. Workbench cleaned up. Got the engines in here. I'm going to start with taking off the tank. Just that way, when I take the governor out, I can remove that arm as well and do it the right way, not just leave that arm flapping in there. So I'm going to pull the tank off, and I'm pretty sure to do that if I remember right. Eh, you might not have to. Now, I was going to say I have to take off the airbox, but you don't. I'm going to pull the tank off, then turn around, pull off this side cover. It's real simple. Carefully pull it off. Try not to mess up the gasket because I don't have another one, and you always want to be careful around the crank seal. But that's it for now. There are three bolts that hold the tank on. One here, one here, and then if you guys can see that one right there between the intake and exhaust. I believe that one runs on through into the tank. Nope, not that one. That one, my bad. That's the bolt you want to take out. So I'm going to get to doing that. Alrighty, the tank is off. I lied. I did go ahead and take the airbox off and the carb off because you have to be to remove the clamp off the fuel hose and I'd rather do it on the carb side than the tank side because that's going to make it hard to get back on. So I pulled the carb off and everything like that and actually you need to do that anyway because you're going to have to mess with the linkage because the linkage is not set up for like a go-kart and when you remove the governor you have to run your own return spring for this because this is all hooked up to the governor. So you're removing this arm, the functionality of it um, so your return springs aren't going to work anymore, not like you need them to. So I'm going to turn her over and start popping side cover off. Alrighty, I have got, let's see, get the screen turned around where I can see y'all. I have got the engine set up on its side. You guys can't see that great, I'm sorry. But all I got to do is take off these six side cover bolts and it should come loose. But before you do that, I'm going to remove this key, or if you just yank on it, you might shred that crank seal. Holy crap! I'm sure you guys heard that. It's storming pretty bad here right now, so I apologize for the thunder and hopefully they don't lose power but that was loud very loud all right now you might want to try and keep track of these because I'm not sure if they're different lengths we'll find out right here in a second if they are. And I suggest not throwing them on the ground either. So far they're all the same length. Still the same. Still the same. They're all the same length. So you don't have to keep track of them like that. You can just ball them all up and set them to the side. Now comes the really neat part because you just want to lift up on this as evenly as possible. Like I said, you want to try and be careful about that seal. 
Alrighty, governor is completely removed. You can see it all laying right there, including the little arm. I've got a bolt set in there with some RTV to plug that hole. And I removed the low oil sensor, which is right there. To plug that hole, I just left the uh, factory little channel where the wire runs into it. I left that and left a little bit of wire in there to plug it for now. So I'm going to throw the side cover back on after I... Eh, no, I'm not going to drain this oil. I'm going to drain this oil uh, with the drain valve, drain valve, drain bolt instead of just turning it over. So I'm going to throw the side cover back on, get the tank back on it, get the engine back together, and then probably... Well, I need, I need some bolts for the engine mounting. i got to get engine mounting bolts. And then i got to get gas for it. Once I do that, I might try and get out and ride it this evening. Because that's all it needs. I mean, I've got a chain and everything like that. So, see if we can't get this thing going. Asbestos. Current economic situation. Just sit silently. Why do you record? Start a new clip. <laughs> okay. Say action. Action. What's going on, guys? Are you still recording? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to Home Depot, Home Depot, to buy some bolts for the go kart. Yeah. What you getting? Some bolts. What's that one? This is a 516, which sounds like that's right it should be. And we have a winner, because this stuff is so old, because it's off a 1970s car. Now this isn't, because it isn't the original motor mount, but it actually uses standard hardware, and not electric. Oh, Don't look at me, look at the truck, it's a lot prettier. Oh yeah, oh, in focus shot. Tick, 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 tick. You hear that, that manifold leak? It'll go away. What are you doing? I am putting the carburetor back on the engine so I can rig up a throttle for it because when you remove the governor which had the arm come out of here like you all saw earlier uh, you have to kind of make your own little throttle pieces out of what you pulled off of it so I took this heavy-duty spring and ran it from here to here to make the throttle return spring so that'll work for now but actually I actually got to rig up something for the carb We got those mounts on. Yes, we did. With the help of the camera lady. Oh. This thing's kind of full. Oh. 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 Let's see it. There's all in my eye. Oh. Five sixteenths by twenty four. I believe that's as far as she's gonna go. How's it feel? I mean, that's good. Now, what we'll do is 
Throw this on the cart for real this time. Oh, wait, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was first pull on a brand new engine. First pull. Let it idle and warm up for a second. It's never been ran before, so it's still breaking in. So. There he goes. Probably can't see him, but he's way over there. Oh. Oh yeah. What do you think? That was awesome. Is it fun? Yeah. Is that You've been on you've been on a go kart before, right? Yeah, yeah. You've never been on a race car, though. Never been on a race car. Is it not completely different? It is so different. You see what I'm saying about you don't come out of them. It's so much fun. This is the best. And you're just putting around. Like, yeah. No, I wasn't even like doing yeah. anything serious here. They're an arm loaded. That was it. Well, this exhaust is way taller than an aftermarket one would be, so we're gonna have to change that out, fix that problem. Ten out of ten. Ten that, out of ten would recommend. Is that a heart smash? Heart smash. Heart smash. Heart smash.